Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Ambrose from Light Academy. I want to thank each and everyone, especially our parents and the students, for keeping in touch with the school. I pray that you keep on staying safe during this lockdown. Please follow all the safety procedures and wash your hands and maintain the social distance. As a school, we believe it's important to keep in touch with you and also maintain our students, make sure that at least they are following what is supposed to be told. So that's why we have decided to start teaching them and posting some videos so that at least the, the students can keep on following what is supposed to be taught at school. So as of now, I am going to add primary seven mathematics and in, a, in particular, I'm going to look at one special area that is area of circles and sectors. This is one area which is covered in basics, but of course we always add some little bit in primary seven. That is why I'm going to answer some questions related to area of circles and sectors. So to begin with, I'll look at the first question that I have for you. That is the area. That's question number one. The area of a circle is what we're going to do. So I'll start by saying the radius of a circle is the radius of a circle is 7 centimeters. And the question is calculate its area. Calculate its area. So that's my first question for this lesson. This is not something which is completely new to the candidates, but of course, we all know, as candidates, they did this in primary six. What is the formula of area? Because that's what they're asking us to work out in this number. Area of a circle is given as pi r squared. That is the formula of working out area of all circles. Now, for this case, they have said the radius of this circle is 7 centimeters, and this is the formula. How do I now work out the area? I just have to substitute the value of pi, which is always, our value of pi is always 22 out of 7 if it's given as a fraction. Our radius is already 7 centimeters. So that means to work out the area of a circle whose radius is 7 centimeters, I will just say area equals to. 22 out of 7 times the radius, which is 7 centimeters, because they are saying radius squared, that means it must be 7 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Now, when you reach this point, what you are supposed to do is to reduce the common factors. So I will say this by 7 is 1, and then by 7 I get 1 centimeters. So my next step now will be area. Will be equals to, I will now remain with 22 times 1 centimeters times 7 centimeters. And my area will be equals to 22 times 1, of course, I'll get 22 centimeters times 7 centimeters. And now area will be equals to 22 centimeters times 7 centimeters, what will we get? We shall get 154 centimeters squared. And that will be the area of a square, I mean of a circle whose radius is 7 centimeters. So that is our example number one. We can also look at the second one, which is our example number two. Sometimes they give you radius and sometimes they give you diameter. Let's look at the second question. They are saying, work out the area of the figure below. Work out. The area of the figure below. The figure below. And this is our circle, which is this. And they have drawn this line, and they have said the distance from this side up to the other side is 28 decimeter. So when you look at these two questions, number one and number two. Number one, they are not drawn anything, but of course number two, there is a drawing. And also number one, they are giving us the radius, which is seven centimeters. But when you look at number two, the line which is drawn from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, through the center, is the diameter. So in this question, instead of giving us radius, 
they are given as diameter. So that means we all know that area equals to pi r square. Area equals to pi r square. But r is the radius. But what we have here is the diameter. So what we are supposed to do first is use this diameter and get the radius. So how do I get radius from diameter? Radius equals to this whole diameter when you divide by 2, you will get what we call to be radius. So in this case, our radius will be equals to 28 decimeters divided by 2. And your radius will be equals to 14 decimeters. So that is the radius of this circle. So now from this radius, I can now go ahead and work out my area. In this case, area of this circle now will be equals to 22 out of 7 times the radius this time round is 14 decimeters times 14 decimeters. And be careful with the units. Sometimes they give you centimeters like in this question, but of course in this one here we are no longer using centimeters, we are using decimeters. So that means I can now reduce if they are common factors. By 7 is 1, by 7 I will be 2 decimeters. So what will be my next step? Now our area will be equals to 22 times 2 decimeters times 14 decimeters. And now you can multiply the first one. So our area will be equals to 22 times 2 decimeters, you get 44 decimeters times 14 decimeters. And now when you multiply 44 times 14, what do we get? When you multiply 44 times 14, you will get 616 decimeters squared. Why are we writing square? Because decimeters times decimeters will get decimeters squared. So that is our area of a circle whose diameter is 28 decimeters. So that is our example number 2. So we shall also look at another example. Remember we are looking at area of circles and sectors. Our example 1 and 2, we are majorly looking at a full circle. Now in number 3, we are going to look at sectors. First of all, what is a sector? A sector is a part of a circle. When you extract only a part of the circle, you will get a sector. So let's look at our example number three, which will specifically look at a sector. So let's go to number three. In case you want to know what a sector is, if a full circle is like this, and then I extract, I get the center like this, and then I only drop a part which is like this. This shaded part is what we're going to be a sector. So we are going to look at areas of all the parts of a circle. So we are going to look at example number three. Work out the area of the figure below. Work out the area of the figure below. What are the area of the figure below? Now this time round, we are not looking at the full circle. I want to get a sector. This one. And that is the center. Now in this sector, we are going to have this distance as 14 centimeters. This is one sector. But again, this sector has a special name. This sector is called a semi-circle. And a semi-circle is a half of a full circle. When you draw a full circle and only draw half of it, you get a semi-circle. So how do I work out area of a semi-circle in this case? Remember we say a semi-circle is half of a full circle. That means its area will now be equals to a half pi r squared. Why are we saying a half? Because it's a half of a circle. Somebody might ask, where do we get this a half from? When you look at a semicircle, if I put a small one this side down, and of course afterwards, this degree from here up to here is 180 degrees. But if I draw a full circle, the total degree is 360 degrees. So if I put the 180 
degrees out of 360 degrees. And I reduce this, this zero and this. By 18 is 1, by 18 is 2. You realize that this is actually a half. So that's where we get the a half from. So our area of the semicircle is a half pi r squared. So we can now continue. I will wrap this part because I work out my area. So area equals to a half times pi, which is 22 out of 7 times. Now what we are having from here up to here is not radius, but it is diameter. And we are aware, just like we did in the number 2, that if you are given diameter, to get radius, you must divide diameter by 2. So that means if I divide 14 by 2, I will get 7. So my radius will be 7. So that means a half times 2 out of 7 times 7 centimeters times another 7 centimeters. And now from here you can put me and say, by 7 is 1, by 7 is 1 centimeters. By 2 is 1, by 2 is 11. So my area now will be equals to 1 times 11 times 1 centimeters times 7 centimeters. In this case now our area will be equals to 1 times 11 is 11 times 1 centimeters times 7 centimeters will get 7 centimeters squared. And now our area is 11 times 7 centimeters squared. The area will be equals to 77 centimeters squared. It's the area of the semi-circle. So that is our example number 3. I told you we are going to look at some other example of sectors. Let's look at another one which is different from a semi-circle. Which is our example number 3. Number three, still we are going to look at a sector. So we are going to say calculate the area of the sector below. That is number four. Calculate the area of the sector below. Calculate the area of the sector below. Now this time round we are not going to look at a semicircle. Let's look at another type of sector. I have this. Where this angle is 90 degrees. And when you look at this sector, this one is also having a special name. This one is called a quadrant. A quadrant is a quarter of a whole circle. So that means if they give you this figure and probably they give you that this is 28 meters and they are asking for the area. In this case, we have said a quadrant is a quarter of a circle. Where do I get the quarter from? This degree is 90 degrees. If I put 90 out of the total degree of a circle, which is 360 degrees, and I reduce this and this, by 9 is 1, by 9 is 4. You realize that 90 degrees is the same as a quarter in this case. So in this case, its area equals to a quarter pi r squared. An area of a quadrant now will be equal to a quarter times pi, which is 22 out of 7, times the radius is already 28, times 28 centimeters, times 28 meters. In this case, I can now reduce and say by 7 is 1, by 7 is 4 meters. Then still I will reduce by 4 is 1, by 4 I will get 1 meter. So my area now will be equal to 1 times 22 times 1 meter times 28 meters. So our area will be equal to 1 times 22 is 22. 22 times 1 meter you get 22 meters times 28 meters. And our area will be equal to 22 times 28 till I will get 616 square meters as our area of that quadrant. So that is our example number four. I will add one more example of sectors before we give to the exercise. So in this case, we are no longer going to look at those special sectors. Let's look at number four. I mean number five. Number five is a work out the area of the sector below. Work out the area 
of the sector below. Sector below. But now this time round, I'm going to say use pi, which equals to 3.14. So we are not about going to use 22 out of 7, but we're going to use 3.14. Remember, if I write 22 out of 7 as a decimal, and I round up to two decimal places, I'll get 3.14. Four. So I have this figure which is like this. And they're saying this angle is 120 degrees. And this is 30 centimeters. And they're asking us to work out the area of this. First of all, just like number 3 and 4, there's an angle of 120 degrees. So what fraction of a full circle is this? I will now say this is the same as 120 degrees out of 360. Degrees. Well, this one can go with this. By 12 is 1, by 12 is 3. So in actual sense, what we are seeing here is a third of a full circle. That means its area will also be equal to a third pi r squared. So our area in this case now will be equal to a third times. Remember the value of pi that we are not going to use 22 out of 7, but we shall use 3.14. And when you write 3.14 as a fraction, this is the same as. 314 out of 100 times the radius square which is times 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters now in this case I can now reduce I can say this 0 can go with this 0 and this 0 can be reduced with this 0 in this case by 3 is 1 by 3 I will also remain with 1 so I my area now will be equal to 1 times 314 is 314 times 1 centimeters times 3 centimeters and my area will be equal to 340 times 1 is 314 centimeters then times 3 centimeters and my area will be equal to 340 times 3 what do I get? I will get 942 centimeters squared as the area of this sector where the angle is 120 degrees and the radius is 30 centimeters. So this will be the end of our lesson for today. But of course, questions will be below it. So make sure you answer the questions and send the answers to my number that is put below. Thank you so much.